Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see question today. Today's question we are picking up from the topic of matrices and determinants here. So we are continuing our series of questions on JW Advanced. And when we are picking up the question from matrices and determinants, the question says that let Q be a positive real number matrix A that is given to us as K minus 1, 2 root K, 2 root K, 2 root K again. Then we are given 1 minus 2 K and a third row is given to us as minus 2 K, K and minus 1. So this is our determinant A which is given to us. Determinant B that is given to us as diagonal elements 0. And the non-diagonal elements are given to us as 2k minus 1. Here it is 1 minus 2k. Here it is given to us as root k. This is minus 2k. And this is given to us as 2k is minus 2k. So these are the two matrices A and B. And we have been told that determinant of adjoint of A plus determinant of adjoint of B that is equal to 10 raised to 6 and we have been asked to find the greatest integer function k. So basically we need to find the greatest integer value of k that is lesser than or equal to k. So that is the question which is asked to us. Now let's see how do we solve this. So before solving this first if I talk about the idea we know that whenever a matrix let's say m is given we can find the determinant of matrix M and then we can use the idea if I want to find out determinant of a joint of matrix M that is given by the idea determinant of matrix M raised to N minus 1 where N is the order of the matrix. If this matrix M consists of 3 rows and 3 columns you put N as 3. If this matrix consists of 2 rows and 2 columns then you put the value of N as 2. So whatever is the row or the order of the matrix, you put that value of n here and you take this. So first of all, to apply this idea, let's first calculate the determinant of A and the determinant of B. So if I try to calculate the determinant of A first, so determinant of A basically becomes determinant of k minus 1, 2 k, Then we have 1 minus 2k. Then we had minus 2 root k. 2k and minus 1. So if I apply the idea of determinant, if I calculate it, I get 2k minus 1. Here you get minus 1 minus of minus 4k plus 4k so 2 into 2 4 and k square get 4k square minus 1 minus 2 root k if i take this then you take the product of first and third so you get 2 root k minus 1 minus 2 root k again minus minus into minus plus so 4k and root k so 4 k plus 2 root k again and you get here 2 into 2 4 4 k root k minus minus so plus now further if i try to solve this what i get 2 k minus 1 you get here 4 k square minus 1 so 4 k square minus 1 is nothing but a square minus b square that gives you a minus b B minus 2 root k into if I take out common from here also I can take out 2 and root k common so minus 2 root k and minus 2 root k if I take out common plus 
four k because I am taking two root k out. So what is left here is one plus from here I am taking two root k out. So you are left with k plus two root k again I can take out. So it becomes again four k. And when I take it out, you are left with again. You get from here. Here you get it as 2k minus 1 the whole square into 2k plus 1. Here you get 2k plus 1. If you take it common, you get 8k. So 8k into 2k plus 1. If you take out common from the entire terms, you are left with 2k minus 1 the whole square. That is a minus b the whole square. So a square minus 2ab plus b square plus b. So further you get it as 2k plus 1 a square plus 2ab plus b square. That becomes 2k plus 1 and 2k plus 1. So basically the value of the entire determinant of a comes out to be 2k plus 1. That is the value of the determinant of A at this point. Now, if you see the determinant B here, if I carry out the determinant of B here, it is given diagonal elements being 0, 2k minus 1, root k, and if you see the negative of this entire element is here. The negative of the entire element root k is here and the negative of this entire element is also here. So non-diagonal elements also if you see are positive and negative that makes this determinant P or the matrix P as a skew symmetric matrix and we already know that for a skew symmetric matrix the determinant will always come out. So you have determinant of A with you, you have determinant of B. Now just let's use the idea. We have been given that determinant of a joint of A plus determinant of a joint of B is equal to A raised to 6. So if you apply the idea of determinant of A raised to N minus 1 plus determinant of B raised to N minus 1 is equal to N raised to 6. Now, n is the number of rows and columns you have here. In this, both matrices, we have three rows and columns. So, order is three. So, if you put that n value three here, you already have determinant of a as 2k plus 1. The whole raised to 3 minus 1. Here, you have determinant of b as 0. That is again raised to 3 minus 1. So, you get from your k plus 1. Whole cube square. So whole cubes square. And this is zero. So you get two k plus one the whole raised to six is equal to n raised to six. When you have the same powers, you can just equate the bases here. And if you do that, you get two k plus one is equal to 10. Once you get this, you get two k is equal to ten minus one, that is nine. K brings out your 4.5. The value of K comes out here, that is 4.5. If we have been asked the greatest integer function of K, that is we need to find the value of integer that is lesser than or equal to 4.5 and the value of integer that is lesser than or equal to 4.5. So correct answer for this question which is asked to us, that is the greatest integer function of K, that becomes 4. And if you see the option that matches here with the question is D. So D is the correct answer for the question. That tells us the greatest integer value of the function K is. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of question. Where we were given two matrices, we were given this condition. So we use the idea that determinant of a joint of any matrix is nothing but determinant of that matrix raised to order of the matrix minus 1. So first we just found out the determinants of the two matrices given to us A and B and then we just used the idea which we understood. So we got the value of K as 4.5 but the greatest integer function was asked so that comes out.
and the correct option for that is shoot. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question from some other topic. We are going to continue these questions on GWP Advanced only. So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of GWP Advanced questions. Thank you.